Strong's Courage, Zakir with Weldnaus between them, and towards the right running very fast on the stands rail is Frequent Flyer, Kronk's Courage, Frequent Flyer, Weldnaus, and over on the far side, Zakir, a little between the quartet. Zakir over on the far side, Weldnaus next, then Kronk's Courage, and then on the right, on the stand side, Frequent Flyer. Coming down past the three furlong, but Zakir on the far side, Weldnaus in the center, Frequent Flyer on the near side, Pat Edry just takes a fractional advantage on Weld Nass as they pass the two furlong pole. Weld Nass, Zakir, frequent flyer on the near side. Over on the far side, trying to get in the picture, Heart of Arabia coming down to the furlong pole. Weld Nass and Zakir, Heart of Arabia on the far side, frequent flyer on the near side, still wide open between this quartet as they race into the closing stages. Heart of Arabia over on the far side, takes a fractional advantage, they come to the line. Heart of Arabia is going to win it from Zakir and Weld Nass and frequent flyer so Ray Cochran scores his second uh, winner of the meeting and the result of the Scottish Equitable Richmond Stakes is first number five Heart of Arabia owned by Mr. Saeed Manana trained by Clive Britton and ridden by Ray Cochran and officially it's a photograph for second place a photograph between Zakia and Weld Nass so Heart of Arabia who cost 105,000 Irish punts has well beaten Weldnas and Zakir, who cost $845,000 between them. Heart of Arabia, the winner of the Scottish Equitable Richmond. Well, what a race and what a result. Uh, Clyde Britton pulls it out of the fire again. There's the Heart of Arabia closest to us as they jump, and uh, straight away the speed was on the stand side with Cronk's Courage courage showing a uh, terrific speed and the other two the two favorites really sort of playing cat and mouse with one another i thought richard hills on zakia and pad edry on weld uh, those two in the blue colors are uh, towards the outside and ray cochran's tracked those two on the stand side frequent flyers showing terrific speed but it was cronk's courage who showed the best early speed and after a couple of furlongs he was in front Pat Edry looked very comfortable at this point, I thought, on Welt Nass, and Richard Hills just keeping up sides of him, and Ray Cochran just, you thought, uh, felt st starting to niggle on the heart of Arabia, and looked as though he might be dropped off. He's fifth of the six runners here as they pass the halfway point, and certainly didn't look like the winner. Now there are three horses in line as uh, frequent flyers burst through on the stand rails. Pat Edery at this point, uh, just starting to ask his Mount Weltnass to go, and uh, Richard Hill's a little bit uneasy, and now the winner has got a second wind, and uh, Ray Cochran pulls him to the outside, goes for his whip, but he still doesn't look as though he's gonna get to the first three. And now Richard Hills has gone for his whip, the rider on the rails, Steve Gordon, he's gone for the whip. Pat Edry is the last one to go for it, but Weltnass doesn't respond. Three horses in line, four horses in the line now, and Hart Arabia is the strongest in the final furlong. His ears go back a little bit there, but he's responding to driving and goes away for a dramatic.